All right, this is first grade, module three, lesson 10. And this lesson begins the next four lessons. We're going to kind of detour away from measuring, and we're going to move towards data collection, data organization. Uh, students are going to be collecting information about themselves. They're going to be answering questions. They're going to be tallying. And all of this means, once again, continuing a theme for this entire module, Vocabulary is going to be really important. Things like collecting, organize, sorting, data, table. All of these things should be put up on a word wall for, you, uh, for all of your students because really if you think about it, all of your students are academic English language learners. Um, but this is especially going to be helpful for your English as a second, second language student. So get all of these words, put them up on a word wall, draw some pictures next to each of these words to, to represent what does collecting mean, what does organize mean, what does sorting mean, etc. So let's get going on this. So the great thing about data collection is that it's an opportunity for uh, mathematics to be really meaningful to our students. Um, so parents and teachers, you know your kids better than Eureka Math does. So now Eureka Math happened to choose as an example, let's talk about our favorite book, Charlotte's Web, Wizard of Oz, or Stella Luna. Uh, but if these things don't mean much to your students, choose a different topic. Talk about favorite food. Talk about your favorite ice cream. Talk about your favorite uh, movie. Whatever. So this is a really great opportunity, teachers, for you to bring math, uh, make math come alive for your students. In this case, we've got uh, a vote between your favorite book. Charlotte's Web, Wizard of Oz, and Stella Luna. And what they're advocating for, what they're suggesting, is you give your students a popsicle stick. And each one of those is essentially a ballot. And your students are to write the word of their favorite book. So if their favorite book is Charlotte's Web, they'll write Charlotte. If their favorite book is Wizard of Oz, they'll write the word wizard or Stella. They don't have to do the whole thing, Stella Luna. In fact, if you don't want to write Charlotte, you could just write Web. And Wizard, instead of writing Wizard, you could just write Oz to make it easy on your first graders. So the idea is, so everybody's voting, right? But all of this is really kind of a big old jumbled up mess. So let's start sorting. So one thing is we can start sorting our Charlotte and our Wiz wizard and then our Stella and then we can say oh here's another wizard here's a Charlotte here's a wizard uh, Stella goes over here here's Charlotte and then Stella is over here and then Charlotte so it's hard to see right away who's winning but it I mean who won but we can see well it's right now we still don't know do we uh, but here's Wizard of Oz and then here's a Charlotte and here's a Charlotte so the idea is to show this to your students that boy this is a really cumbersome um, gross way of organizing our data All right. so this we're gonna call we could call these kind of tallies I guess if we wanted to so that's one way to do it but another way, probably the, the more standard way of doing it, is we want to show students that classic tally where we've got four tallies, and then once we've got the four, then we want that fifth one to be a cross like that. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. So we want students to begin to see the the clumps of five so that students can start counting in groups of five. So we really want them to see this as a clump of five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Instantly we want them to see it as five. And then similarly, the Wizard of Oz, we're going to get these and we're going to go one, two, three, and then this one's four. And then this is going to be our cross, right? So we're going to cross. There it is. Cross. Boom. And now we've got two more down here. And then Stella. Stella Luna. 
doesn't even get a cross. She only, that book, I said she, um, only gets four. So there is no cross right there. So now we can start to see, um, in this case, which book got the most votes. We can see that Charlotte's Web got the most votes by one because we have five and five are up here. Those are even. But down here, Charlotte has three. Wizard only has two. So we can see that Charlotte has uh, one more vote than Wizard. So Charlotte has eight. Wizard has seven. And we can see that Stella, Stella Luna only has four. So that's one idea, right? You don't have to choose favorite book. Choose something that makes your students uh, learn to love mathematics. And the idea here is we, we want to specifically uh, have students convert from tally marks to the actual number of votes. So we see that ch chocolate has one, two, three, four tally marks, so we want students to write down the number four. We want strawberry to be three, and we want students to see, oh, cookie dough, do we have to count all the individual little lines? No. Students starting in first grade can start counting by fives. And we see that we have five here plus five here. That's ten. That's two hands, if they want to think of it that way. One full hand of five, one full hand of five makes ten. Or they can just count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, right? Five, ten. And once they've done that, the power of doing this is that we can now start answering tons of questions. We can start talking about um, uh, how many students chose cookie dough, or we can say uh, what's the total number of students who like chocolate or strawberry the best. So w the power of collecting our data and organizing it this way is that students get to start answering cool questions. Similarly, we've got a bunch of votes. This is kind of like our popsicle sticks. And now we want to, first we want to say, organize the data using tally marks and then answer the questions. So we want to take the, our votes and turn them into tally marks. So let's see. Comic book, tally. Magazine, tally. Chapter book, tally. Comic book, another tally. Magazine, another tally. Chapter book, another tally. Comic book, another tally. Ooh, comic book, another tally. Chapter book goes down here. Chapter book goes down here. Oh, it's so far it's a tie between comic and chapter. And then chapter book. Okay, so here, this chapter book, we're going to do a cross. I got to tell you, parents and teachers, it drives us middle school teachers crazy when we see our 6th and 7th graders just put tally after tally after tally and never crossing. So let's get that going even at the first grade level. Chapter book, another tally. So we're going to start a fresh batch. Magazine goes right here. Magazine goes right here. Magazine, up. Oh, there's our cross. And now we can see our votes. We can see that comic book ended up with four. We can see that magazine ended up with five. And chapter book ended up with six. And that wraps up kind of a neat little simple lesson, first grade, module three, lesson 10, where we begin a transition from measurement into data, data collection and data sorting and organizing and all that sort of stuff.